But, you know, it was a funny thing. Back in, back in the 90s, there was definite animosity between the right and the left. Rush was hitting Clinton pretty hard. Right. But there was nothing, nothing in the 90s like what was going to happen in 2000 after Bush v. Gore. Mm-hmm. When, and I think over time, conservatives sort of in the chattering classes came to recognize that's where derangement on the left really started right. at Bush v. Gore. They thought they had it. They, spent, they had spent a month planning how they were going to administer the country and then for it to be pulled out from under them by the Supreme Court or is in, in their version of it. Um, that, that absolutely, uh, whatever has happened to them got, got pathologized then. If it happens again, <laughs> I yeah. don't know where that leaves us. <laughs> I, I mean, I truly don't because the difference between Democrats in the seventies, eighties, and even nineties and Democrats in the twenties, teens, and now going into the 2020s, it's night and day. Um, yeah. It, in the past, you were, you know, we just disagreed. Now, now we're Nazis. Um, where do you go after accusing someone of Nazism? Where, what's the next <laughs> yeah. step after that? And right. I'm afraid we're going to find out if this happens. And the more the media, the more the media legitimizes Biden's Biden's claim to the presidency, the worse this yeah, is going right. to be. The media could put the brakes on this in a heartbeat and say, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute, everybody, slow down. Yeah. We're playing a very dangerous game here. We American politics started coming apart the first time we did this in 2000. Um, this could rip us in, too. And the, then the media will be complicit in whatever whatever damage comes out of this. We've, we've seen a lot of calls for unity from the left well, over the past two days, from Joe Biden, and and uh, then and then they call Kamala in, Harris. and then they call hotlines for voter fraud right. that are manned by conservatives, <laughs> and call them the c word, right. call them right, right. all sorts of other no, exactly. things. exactly. That's going to yeah. put Trump supporters on yeah, the list. That's, that's for, unity. For that's four unity years, right there. For four yeah. years, I've been called Hitler, and now they want to be friends with Hitler, and. I mean, I, I don't understand why I'd want to be their friend after four years of being called Hitler. I don't understand why they'd want to be my yeah. friend if they really think they I'm really Hitler. It. So yeah. where do we go from here, Michael? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a tough road ahead if if it flips. Like if, if that were to happen, I have my serious doubts that there's enough votes out there. I, I There could be in the thousands in plenty of states, I think, but a total flip seems a little unrealistic to me. But if it were to happen, it's got to be like George Floyd 2.0. Like, I can't, they would just go nuts. Yeah. That would be insane. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. I think it will break them. I I think it will break them. I think they were somewhat broken after Bush v. Gore. And I, I don't know how you come back from. I don't know how you come back from that again. It will be so traumatic for them. 